Today on TBC, warm weather in November. How warm will Thanksgiving be? We'll talk about it today. And Starbucks reveals their holiday drink lineup. All the details today on The Brave Club. Happy Wednesday, Warriors. Welcome to the Bird Club. I'm Karina. And I'm Matthew. We're here with Max, Krisha, and Saharsh. It's so hot right now, I can't even believe it's November. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's it's you're wearing a hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, but like, it's just for fashion. It's supposed to be cold. <laughs> There's like one week in October where it was really cold. You're very yeah. fashionable. But then it just got warm after that. It was only one week. Yeah. yeah. More on top stories later, but first, the weather. The festive red holiday cups have been revealed and Starbucks is ready to fill them up with new and returning seasonal beverages. The coffee chain announced its official 2024 holiday menu this week, which includes an array of intensive sips and bites. Starbucks is debuting its first ever launch of holiday refreshers with the new cranberry orange refresher, transferring bright red cranberries, a longtime hallmark symbol of the season, into a star menu item. The new turkey sage danish is a flaky savory pastry that's filled with turkey sausage and a creamy bechamel sauce. New sweet treats include personal sized dark toffee bunk cakes and simple iced penguin shortbread cookies and snow snowman cake pops made with vanilla cake and buttercream that's dipped in white chocolate icing. Do any of you guys like Starbucks? Yes. I, I get it every now and then. It's, yeah. There's just caffeine. one time I had it at a hotel. They they have like really good brownies. Yeah. yeah. You can get yeah. it without caffeine. I always get it without yeah, caffeine. Yeah, the refreshers oh. are really good there. Actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. My sister loves it, so I just get it every time we go okay. there. Not a Carino for entertainment. Denzel Washington recently hinted at retirement, indicating his next project, including Gladiator 2 and a possible role in Black Panther 3, could be some of his last. After a career spanning over 40 years, the 69-year-old actor says he's now more selective, seeking roles that inspire him creatively. In addition to acting, Washington has expressed interest in shifting focus to directing and producing, with a Broadway performance as Othello slated for 2025. Fans are speculating this may mark the final chapter of Washington's illustrious on-screen journey. He's a really good actor. I've seen some of his movies. Yeah. He was in Malcolm X. I'm ready to see how he does in Black Panther 3. I'm excited for that. I've never yeah. seen Malcolm X. Oh, uh, like, it's pretty good. I've What's heard it about it? What's it about? I don't know. Even know. It's like, it's been a while, but I know it was a good movie. Oh. I'm just surprised they're making a Black Panther 3. Yeah. Yeah. And now for today's 10 second trivia. What's the average high temperature in Florida during Thanksgiving week? 70 to 75 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees, 80 to 85 degrees, or 85 to 90 degrees? Thanksgiving in Florida is usually a warm 75 to 80 degrees. Central Florida is experiencing unreasonably warm weather, with temperatures in the low to mid 80s expected to continue. A weak front will pass, but it won't significantly impact temperatures. Fog is likely in the mornings with isolated showers possible. Boaters and beachgoers should be cautious due to rip currents and rising surf, and a small craft advisory is expected soon. Temperatures may cool slightly by late Thursday and high dippings in the 70s and low in the 50s and 60s after a stronger front arrives. It's mm. been a lot warmer this November. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not last, like last year. It was yeah, cold last, last year, year it was a lot colder. Last time it was, it was like cold. chilly. Because I had to wear gloves and everything. Last yeah, like by morning. now I should be wearing hoodies. Yeah, yeah. I used yeah. to ride my bike in the morning. My fingers would just freeze off when I was riding. Yeah, I'm like hot, sweating wearing pants yeah, and it's really. like insane. I used to see frost sometimes on the leaves, like oh, while yeah. walking. Through. I had like fog. It was super foggy in the mornings. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And now over to Hunter with today in history. Hey guys, it's Hunter with a day in history. 
On November 13, 1956, the U.S. Supreme Court issued a landmark decision in Browder v. Gale, ruling that segregation on public buses in Montgomery, Alabama was unconstitutional. This decision came off as a direct result of Montgomery bus boycott, sparked by Rosa Parks' refusal to give up her seat with a white man. The boycott, led by a figure such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., lasted for over a year and played a pivotal role in the civil rights movement. The ruling was a major victory for racial equality, challenging institutionalized segregation and paving the way for further legal advancements. I'm Hunter and this has been Nain History. In yesterday's, ga in yesterday's game, the Miami Dolphins dominated the Los Angeles Rams with a 23-15 victory. Tua Tagovailoa had an impressive performance, throwing for over 300 yards and four touchdowns, including a standout 75-yard strike to Tyreek Hill. Miami Miami's offense was clicking on all cylinders while the Rams struggled to keep pace. Matthew Stafford threw for two touchdowns but was intercepted twi twice, and L.A.'s running game was largely in ineffective. Miami's defense also stepped up with key stops. The win imp improves the Dolphins standing in the AFC, while the Rams continue to struggle with consistency. <laughs> we keep getting stories on, what's his name, Tua? Yeah, he's saying. finally uh, back now. Yeah, didn't he have an injury? Didn't we talk yeah, about Yeah, he that? had a concussion, but oh, yeah, he man. had a really good game. Mm -hmm. Glad he's back. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad he's back too. Now let's take a look at our Warrior updates. What's up, Warriors? I'm Sarhush, and here are your Warrior updates. Literacy Week is in full swing, and to celebrate, we're doing Spirit Week. Dress up all days this week to celebrate our love for reading, and be sure to come to Literacy Night on November 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. Students and families are invited. The Algebra and Biology EOC is scheduled for Tuesday, December 10th. Please email your school counselor if you need to take one or both of these important exams. You want to play chess like a pro? Join the Sanford Middle School Chess Club. We are meeting every Wednesday at 8.30 until 9.21. And just come to the car ramp and we'll pick you up. Whether you can play or just want to learn, this club is the club for you. The book fair has returned to SMS until November 15th. Stop by to grab a book, a cool poster, or other items being offered. Book fair online sales are now open. Grandparents and other family members can get in on the book fund by giving to a student's e-wallet or making an online purchase. That's all for now. For more information on your Warrior updates, make sure to follow SMS on all social media. Have you guys gone to book fair? Yeah. Yeah, I went third period yesterday. It was actually pretty I good. still haven't gone, I should go. Oh. What, what period do you have you Third, but oh. I was sick that day. Oh, so I think they're doing it again tomorrow, so you'll get to go. I saw this one book that I like. It was a cookbook. Oh, I kept seeing mm. the Spider-Man books. Yeah, there were so many Spider-Man Yeah, they were good. They were good. Students, just a reminder to check for the goals you set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring, and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help when needed. And remember to target yourself in policy. No phones or earbuds during transition. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave. Believe in your potential. Respect your school and community. Always do what is right. Visualize success and engage in Excel learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll catch you next time right here on The Brave Club.